What is up my friends, it's your boy Oshay again back for another video. I actually thought my mic was off there. I know, I really look tired and it's very very hot. I actually have myself some juice, so if you don't mind me. It's not even that cold anymore. Damn. But it's really hot, okay? It's really hot. I mean, it's not hot that you could directly die because of heat, no. It's just humid hot. But you know what else is hot? Everglow's Ladida, which is I literally wanted to react on this one back in Monday, but I was not able to do so because I was editing my Nyan video. And yesterday, well, you know how that went. I was too busy with my freelance job, but today's the day that I'll finally react to this. I love Dun Dun. Dun Dun is the only music video I reacted from Everglow yet. But I really love that. Okay, I still have to react on other Everglow um, music videos. But I love the songs. Adios. Bon Bon Chocolate. I also love that. So I really hope that this one will be awesome as well. Okay, really looking forward that it surpasses Dun Dun. I'll be focusing on the visuals. I'll try to focus on the subs too, but yeah. This looks like something out of Sin City. As soon as I see it. Oh. Wait, straight away, the vibe of the song gives me that retro arcade feel that I get. I remember um, being able to still experience those type of arcades. I think when it was the mid 2000s, or actually early 2000s, there were still arcades that have that kind of theme. I think it was in Manila when I first experienced those. So yeah, I really am getting those type of vibes. The recent projects that I can relate to that are Stranger Things because it's set in the 80s. So of course, it would really reference so much in that yeah the song itself really reminds me of that uh kind of like uh take on me i think it was take on me i, I don't know which song it reminds me of but you know those type of 80 songs 80s songs Ooh. i know okay i'm not sure if that's me actually i don't know the members yet Okay, so it's really on the darker colors. As retro the song feels, it's different with the color grid. But I still don't see it jarring anyway. <laughs> that was good! <laughs> Ooh! Okay, okay! I love the chorus, okay? I love the message. I, I It gives me that self-dependency vibes that I always love in every K-pop song. If it exists in a K-pop song that I actually listen to. I prefer that kind of theme other than the other love love thingies from other blah blah blah. I don't really... Not really the biggest fan of that. I really want to have these kind of themes in the K-pop songs. Especially the ones that I listen to right now. Itzy, some of Blackpink. Uh, Sar- no, not Sar Candy. Ice Cream was a different- It's a different argument, but yeah. Hmm. Okay. There's this, uh, bit of a slowdown. The chorus is so- I don't know, it- it's- it like zooms you through the whole thing. <laughs> really an 80s vibe, I love it. Dude, I didn't expect this. Ah, uh, really reminds, really takes me back. I think as I listen to the song, okay, I, I know I said I'd be, I'd be focusing on the visuals, but the song, man, the song really reminds me of when, if in terms of application for now, uh, because I sometimes watch 80s movies, but it's always action, so uh, there's little to none of the references to the songs that are being done in here. I think the last one was Bumblebee 
Okay, but that was just a small cassette record. So the recent movie that I could probably feel when I listened to this song is Ready Player One, which is, yeah, Ready Player One is not perfect, but I love all the references that they have in it. So being that, I mean, there's no references to movies here, but getting me to, like, that era like taking me back to that era the era of great pop culture references and stuff it's just i love it and the song is so retro that it literally takes my soul back to that it's the it's taking me to the reason why i love that era so much i mean i've never lived on that era but i really wanted to if only i could turn back time i would but at the same time, I wouldn't because I wouldn't be experiencing these kind of songs in that era. So, <laughs> I mean, K-pop, okay? Uh, the retro thing, I could really experience them all throughout. But, 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 I love that they mashed it up. And it really mixes well with the style that they have now and the way that they mashed the retro songs of old. So, oh. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna be sure... <laughs> oh, I love that bit. This one's for the players and the haters. Okay. Everglow, you're starting to be a big threat to my... I know. I, I'm a multi-stand, but I can't... I'm too broke to be a multi-stand. Just... <laughs> I, hope you, I hope you understand me. Oh, that one's so good. And this part too. Wow, gotta say the visuals of this one is a lot better than Dun Dun, okay? Oh god, this is gonna be a pop to my play. Oh my, I'm gonna be listening to this so many times again. Ah. Oh. Dude, I didn't expect that. Okay. I couldn't say right away if this actually surpasses my love for Dundun. Okay, I love Dundun so much. But... Damn! The two things are so different that I really want to have both of them as number one. If ever, if ever, okay, if ever I get to that list. Uh, maybe soon. <laughs> Still, here's the thing. Whenever I listen to Everglow... Uh, actually, this is in general. Whenever I listen to songs, some of them really make an impact if I could create a specific scene out of it. It may be an action scene or it may be a specific romantic scene. Not the one you're thinking, but just just stuff that I could use my imaginations to to create such thing that makes me feel as if I'm a filmmaker or something of the like, which is not really a big, you know big part of me because I can't film for shit. Everglow always felt like it's something that I could put into an action movie. This one is something that I feel like I could put in in a sort of musical, but it's not your typical musical that I can just put it in. It, it's like you should be intricate with the type of movie that you would put it in before you can call it a musical. It's not just a musical for the sake of having songs in it but it is a musical because of the songs in it ah god i love this bit look i am still learning a lot more about everglow but damn they're so so good i need to listen to this one more time and also to focus on the lyrics but with the lyrics that i got i really love that it goes on to that self-confidence type of vibe uh, the ones that Itzy, uh, Itzy is like one of my biggest influences in terms of that. The self-empowerment vibe that I've always loved from them. And I love that this one also does the same thing. But let's see how it goes. I'll be focusing more on the lyrics and also on the song. I'm probably gonna be singing more on the songs. Uh, this one, I really love that it starts with this Sin City type of vibe. I thought the visuals was gonna be like this all throughout. I think that was from the teaser. I never watched the teasers yet. Or, I, I mean, I don't think there's still a point. I, I literally just watched the MV and it's so, so good. Ooh. I'm gonna watch with two cushions in my ear. Oh, God. So good, though. Feel something. Right. Don't bring me down, don't bring me down. 
Hmm. Okay. I love that. I don't think. No, it's never been done to a song of Everglow before, or maybe I just haven't heard all of them. Maybe, or I just don't remember. That la di la di da bit. I really love it. I really love hearing that. I can't even get it right. Ah, oh, the visuals in this one is nothing. Like, <laughs> if you put Everglow and this one side to side, it feels like Everglow was their startup project and this one is like their main, main show. God. Ooh. It's really speaking to be true to yourself. I love that it also has this slow down bit before it actually gets to the chorus. It's like your breathing time before you actually do like this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, I, I didn't mean to do that, damn it. Yeah, I'll just do that because I can't do the hardest head bop that I can do without having my headset crashing. Ooh. Oh, this part. I also love the simplicity of the choreography for that one. It's basically mostly hands moving. I love that it's not overly intricate that it steals away the visuals of this scene alone because the visuals is not to be trifled with. Ooh. I don't give a what. Is it, it like... <laughs> this is something I thought in my head. I may probably discuss that in a while. Ooh. The this one though i love that line i would want to make that a motto for my twitter something not sure oh this is so good i'm singing in like english it's so but it's korean i'm so stupid Oh yeah, oh, man, Everglow, you got me on that one. Okay, we'll tell you that. You got me on that one. I never thought I would be so hyped right now i'm literally just tired of work and stuff and i just wanted to react on something i was really looking forward to react to dune trailers movie trailers then i said it's it's gonna take me a long time and i need to think of something for that so i said oh everglow actually dropped so i might as well do that and oh my god everglow you're really taking on me like I am already in a bad spot because G Idol is really becoming a fifth on my list right now. And, um, well, we have a competitor. <laughs> and now I really understand why Midzies are actually screaming for streams on this. I will definitely stream for 20 million, almost 20 million. Yes, we're, we're gonna be um, working on that. All in all, I really loved it. I can't speak so much of the visuals other than the fact that I love it more than the visuals on Dun Dun. Although the visuals on Dun Dun. I would say it's not really terrible per se. As I said on my video, it was good. There are just some scenes there that I really, it really felt out of place. But the settings were good. 
this one i'm not sure if it's all setting there's probably a bunch of cgi backgrounds to this than with physical settings but i still love them especially for the fact that some of them actually didn't feel as if they're cgi because if they felt like cgi all they had to do was like do that noiristic feel to it to make it feel like it's something out of sin city then they would get away with it because sin city has the same style and it's basically everything cgi on that movie but they got away with it because it's the purpose of the whole thing okay to make it look as comic booky ish as possible it's not supposed to be a real world thing and that's the same thing with this one and it works so well the song is perfect okay it will take me some debate to know which is which should i love them i mean i would love all of their songs especially if they're on my playlist i just don't know if what's my top song for everglow right now I really love Dun Dun. It's so close to my heart. But la di da, my God. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be listening to this um, one too many times. As well. I'm going to be having this as, as a part of my routine uh, with my daily Notch High stream. So yeah, rest assured, I really love this comeback. I'm really looking forward for more Everglow. And I think this is a great turning point for me to start considering adding it to my top list. Okay? God, it's so hard to be a multi stand, okay? You really want to stand these groups, but <laughs> as I said, I'm too broke to even do that. I can, for now, I can just have this. And it's not really saying much. <laughs> but yeah, if you love this video, make sure to give this a like. Smash like if you have to. Share this with your friends because it will go a long way. Whatever your thoughts are about this comeback, I really suggest you stream Everglow's Ladida. Okay, it's so, so good. I really can't recommend it enough. Okay, I even almost threw my... Uh, well, it actually fell off. But yeah, my headphones for this. That's how good it is, okay? I'm gonna give it a like right now. There. And I suggest that you do the same. Anyway, if you have thoughts about this, whatever your thoughts are, who are your biases, help me know m more about the members for Everglow. Comment it down below and let me know. Because those will create an, a conversation for us to, you know, discuss more on these and also help me with YouTube's algorithm for having more audiences for my vid. Sorry about that. Have more audiences watching my videos. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.